Hey, blessings again, prayer warriors. Bless you on this Saturday, May 6th. Man, time is flying again. Even May is flying by. You'd think one month would just go a little slower. Anyway, today we start the Gospel of John. It's really my favorite gospel. They're all good, but in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was nothing made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man, and the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Verse 14, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Oh, so good, so good. Today, our nation that we're praying for is Honduras, 9.3 population, 27% evangelical Christians, and they're number seven on your uh, world prayer map. And then we're praying for Nevada today, number six on your state prayer map. And three million population, about 20% evangelical Christians. The uh, believers in Honduras are praying for awakening of God's people, that they would be called to become laborers for him in this land. I'd say that in our land too, amen. May pastors in their churches be moved in their hearts to go out and preach the gospel to the lost. Only the gospel can transform this country and bring it back to him. Amen. Amen. And then our prayer focus today is the media, which would be more the news and television shows and on and on. Amen. All right. We're going to go ahead and pray today and lift up this new day. Lord, we thank you for this new day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be very very glad in it. We are looking up. We are living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come. There is nothing in this life that holds me back to wanting to be in your presence. In your presence, Lord, is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Oh, we love you, our King, and we honor you on this day. Lord, on this day where they're going to be uh, coordinating a, a king in the, the UK and England, Lord, we pray over that, Lord. King Charles is an interesting person. We know that he's highly involved in the New World Order, the climate change, all these other things, Lord. So we'll see what kind of influence he has. But Lord, as I said before, we just bow to one king, and his name is King Jesus, Lord. But we lift up the ceremonies and all that's going to go on there, that it'll be beautiful and that we can see it as one day, the great ceremony of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, as we lift up the world before you today, we start off lifting up the nation of Honduras and we pray for the believers there, 27%, Lord. And we pray that their hearts would be fervent to get people born again. Lord, that all of our hearts would be fervent to have an understanding that if a person does not receive Jesus in this life, that they would spend eternity in hell should make every one of us prayer warriors and people that go out to get people saved. So we pray today for the lost in Honduras. We pray for the lost around the world and we pray today for the nations we pray for those in israel that don't know jesus as lord yet and we pray that the scales would come off their eyes and their hearts would be open to their messiah jesus christ we pray for north and south america we pray for africa and asia and europe and we also pray for the Pacific and even the few people that are in the Antarctic, scientists and people like that. We pray over our world. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem today, Lord, the, the capital of the great King, Jesus Christ. Oh, we're looking forward to that day of celebration when you come in and we, your saints, all around you and worshiping you and praising you as the great I am, the great King of kings and Lord of lords. 
We lift up the United States of America and we pray today for Nevada, Lord, uh, kind of known as the sin capital, Lord, what happens in Las Vegas, stays in Vegas, all that kind of nonsense. But we pray, Lord, for the people there that they'll see life is more than a gamble. Life is believing on Jesus Christ. It is appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. There's no gamble in that at all. It is as straightforward as can be. So we lift up Nevada before you. We also lift up our United States of America and we pray for those that are in authority in our nation. We pray for the executive, legislative, and judicial branch. We pray for the president, the vice president, the cabinet lord, those that work in this executive branch, legislative branch. We pray for the Senate, the House of Representatives, the judges, governors, mayors. We bind up evil people. We slow them down. We know we can't get rid of them because the God of this world, the Prince of the Age, is still here. But we can slow them down through our intercession, and that we do today. We pray that the scales will come off their eyes and that their hearts would be open to the glorious light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, we lift up fellow brothers and sisters. I look at this new card. Pray for addiction, 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 marriage, peace. So many say the same thing. So many, Lord. I, I laugh when I go into a park and they say, call this number to, to, to uh, be helping with smoking. But yet they legalized marijuana. It, the delusion of our nation, of our state, is just beyond words. You almost laugh, but it's sad, especially when we saw those Walter Hoving Home girls and their testimony of how drugs, it usually starts with marijuana and then it just goes deeper and deeper. Oh Lord, we bind up this weed from getting in our children, our grandchildren. We pray for them, Lord. We pray over the needs of fellow brothers and sisters, that the scales will come off their eyes and that the glorious light of the gospel of Jesus Christ can penetrate their hearts. And I thank you for this. Now, Lord, I thank you for my fellow prayer warriors today. And I thank you for their heart to pray. And I pray for them, Lord, this day, your blessing upon them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace, his shalom, shalom, shalom. Lord, we thank you that you have made us the head and not the tail. You have made us above only and not beneath. That in all our ways and endeavors, we are greatly blessed. We are highly favored and we are deeply loved by you that we are blessed to be a blessing. So today, this Saturday, we go out and we be a blessing. Thank you for this May 6th. It's the only May 6, 2023 we will ever live. I choose today to live it for you. And all I do say in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hey. He is wonderful beyond words. Amen. Love you, prayer warriors. God bless you. Have a great Saturday. Looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. Man, God is good. Amen. God bless.